U.S. President Joe Biden hosted leaders from Latin America and the Caribbean at the White House on November 3, affirming a regional approach to tackle irregular migration leaders and representatives from Canada, Chile, Ecuador attended Friday's gathering. The inaugural America's Partnership for Economic Prosperity Leaders Summit comes as Biden's foreign policy agenda is dominated by the Israel-Hamas conflict in Gaza and Ukraine's bid to repel Russian invaders, Biden talked up new economic tools together with the Inter-American Development Bank and private donors to aid countries hosting migrants in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> We're affirming our region-wide approach to sharing responsibility for managing the challenges of unprecedented migration flows. With the Los Angeles Declaration on Migration and Protection, we committed to work together to address the historic levels of migration impacting all, all of our countries. Our shared approach has three key parts. One, working together to stabilize migrant populations, including making sure the communities that are welcoming migrants and refugees can afford, can afford to welcome them and afford to care for them. As part of that commitment, the United States and Canada and Spain are contributing to Inter-American Development Bank's migration grant facility to help countries that are approaching, that are providing migrants with legal status, supporting the critical services necessary for communities to live in safety and maybe most importantly in di with dignity. Second thing we're doing, we're expanding legal pathways to promise to promote safe and orderly migration providing worker permits to allow migrants to contribute to our economy. This is a critical asset and to all of our countries. And three, enforcing our immigration laws in humane and effective ways that, deter that deters dangerous, irregular migration and disrupts traffickers. I've asked the United States Congress for supplemental funds to carry out this three-part strategy in our country, and I urge them to act quickly. So let me close with this. Our region is forever knit together by the close bonds of family and enduring friendship. The United States is not hyperbole to suggest is shaped by the rich contributions of people from all across this region. We are a country of immigrants, more than 63 million Latinos, millions more with roots in the Caribbean, our strengthening communities all across the United States of America. And that's a big deal. I want to thank you all for carrying our momentum forward. President Chavez, thank you. And at, the, at that meeting, I hope to see more countries from the region join us as we seek to expand this partnership. Thanks again for everyone around this table. We've got a lot of work to do. Your partnership and your leadership is important. And we're going to accomplish an awful lot, God willing, in the next few years.